not sure if you um, what do you think about uh, Sean Porter versus Danny Garcia? It looks like, they're, they're yeah. I, it looks like he's done, right? Yeah, uh, I think they both agreed. And, uh, they have a couple of dates. I don't know if they already officially have one date. I don't know. But uh, that's, uh, that's a good fight. Sean Porter's style is always that style that's going to that's gonna give you a hard time. You know, against Bronner, he did the same thing. He fights, whoever he fights, you know, whoever he fights, he's going to just be on top of you, make it make it look ugly. It's not going to be a pretty fight. He's uh, he's tough. He's tough. He uh, he's tough, and he finds a way to pull it off. Danny, you know, is 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 more skillful, and he's got really good power. So I'd probably pick Danny because of the skills, and and you know he's got good boxing skills too. So. I probably picked Danny, but I wouldn't be surprised if Sean Porter beats him. And it looks like uh, Earl Spence wants to fight the winner of those of the, those two. To unify? Yeah. Errol Spence. Uh, I think Errol Spence is is probably the best welterweight out there. He's a uh, he's a real deal. You know, he still hasn't had many of those big fights against big names yet. You know, his win against uh, Kel Brook was, was huge, but that's like the only like big, big real name that he's beat. So there's still a lot a lot of room for him to to get better if they if they do it the right way, little by little. I think he's skills wise he could be another Sugar Leonard, another you know, those type of fighters that made a big name for themselves and made history. I think he could do the same, but uh, you know, if they if they do it right, you know, they can push him too fast to fight any any of those, you know, dangerous welterweights or, or super welterweights.